Hey, how you doing? Justin here. Today we're going to start a little Music Business 101 with my good friend James Taylor from the Music Business Institute. Uh, if you've got more questions other than what we cover in these videos, uh, you can go and check out the musicbusinessinstitute.com. I'll put a link in the description. How you doing, James? Good to see you. Good to, good see, to see, you. see you. Thanks for coming in. Uh, so we had loads of questions on the forums yep. and stuff from songwriters and people getting into writing about yep. uh, you know copyright and publishing and record companies and all that sort of stuff. So let's start off with the real basic things. Sure. What is copyright? Well, copyright, the way to think about copyright is like a limited monopoly. So if you create something, part of the reward of you creating it is that you get this limited time that, that no one else can do something with it unless you give them that authority. So it's a bit like if you ever heard of like drug companies where they'll, they'll create a new drug and in that time no one else can use that formula for that drug for 10 years. It works essentially the same way. So just think of it like a, a, a limited time monopoly. If you've ever played Monopoly that game, you know, you have that monopoly place on that, on that board and when you create a song uh, or you create a recording, uh, any kind of artistic work like that, if it's in material form and if it's original, and these are two just original and material form, then you've created a copyright. Now, protecting that copyright is a is another thing, but uh, it's, it's something that's evolved over years. Um, and you know, it's it, people like Dolly Parton. They call they call their songs their babies. Like they're, your copyright is yours. No one can do anything with it unless uh, you allow them to do something with it. Hmm. Okie dokie. So when you say it's in material form, that yeah. means it's got to be recorded, right? It, Somebody has to actually record their song themselves. It doesn't actually have to be recorded. It has to be in, in material form. So if, if it's lyrics, you need to obviously write them down. You need to have them in some, form, in some kind of form. So that's, that's the usual way we, we think about having it in material form. Now, obviously things have evolved. And now you, you're, you're dealing with uh, digital formats and MP3s. But I'm, I'm going to... We, we were talking about this earlier. I'm going to just give you a really basic idea of how to protect your songs. Because even though when you copyright something, when you create a new song, uh, if you're in here, you're creating a you're creating a new piece or a new song or a new lyric. Um, even though you've created it and a copyright is automatically created from that, how it is protected is a slightly different thing. So you actually need to go another step to protect your song or protect okay. your recording. And that's to why prove you, that you did it. Basically to prove that yeah. you've done it. And so the, the, the core thing you're thinking about is then you need to show that you've created something on a specific date. And this is where we, you hear all these legal cases of like someone saying, actually, that's my song or that's, you know, that's my recording. This is where this is really important. And there's a number of different ways you can copyright a song or copyright a work. But one of the, 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 the most simplest is, is a really super low tech way. Okay. So we're going to talk about that just now. So you just get yourself, if it's a recording, you get yourself one of these, one of these envelopes. <laughs> and what to do if, if it's a recording, let's say you've recorded something in the studio or you a demo as early as mm. you can, just you know, make a, a physical thing, make a, you know, a, a CD or a DVD of it, put it in there. And if it's lyrics, you know, if you're writing down the lyrics, write down the lyrics for the song, you put it in there, seal it. So you want to, you want to make, make sure it's sealed. And then what you're going to do is you're going to address it to yourself. You're actually going to mm -hmm. send this to yourself. And w when you go to the, you know, the post office to get it, get it mailed, you want to send it registered delivery to yourself. So inside this is going to be your, your thing you've created. And they're going to stick a stamp on it. So and when you're in the, in, in the, the post office or when you're mailing it, ask them if they can put the stamp over the, 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 this thing mm -hmm. here. Because this actually it means it can't be tampered with. And then they'll, they'll stamp it over it. And then basically you just mail it to yourself. A couple of days later you receive mm -hmm. it in the mail, put it in the drawer, put it somewhere, mm -hmm. put it away. And a little little tip for you as well is because I know a lot, a lot of artists, really successful songwriters will write their lyrics for a song and then do exactly this or they'll do a couple of songs at a time and mail them to themselves. And then they've got loads of these and like, well, which one's which? So just a quick tip is write the name of the song or the, whatever it is, if it's an album, write it on the back of it first and then mail it to yourself. And you know, idea. you know, this is this is actually happens in what will happen is if someone um, you think steals one of your songs or one of your lyrics or something, what happens in, in the real world? And this is how, how it takes place is a judge actually will you'll give this to a judge and they will open it like so. And they'll see it's, it hasn't been tampered with and they've got the date on it. So they know it's yours and it's you know it's it's your um, on a specific date and they open it and they introduce it as evidence and this is how it works in in the wow. you know, court of law so 
very low tech. Wow. If you want to go to the next, if you want to go to the super duper version, you can go to, if you're in America, you can go to copyright.gov and you can actually register online. It could be MP3s, it can be different formats. And prices can vary, but usually about $35 to, to go and do that. Mm -hmm. So, but this is like, if, if you're a little bit stingy and cheap like me, this is this easy way to do that. Now, have they, I'm not sure if you know the answer to this question, but has anyone tested stuff like SoundCloud, which dates, or YouTube, where it dates the, when you make a new video exactly. or whatever, it puts a date on it. So if you upload it to YouTube or SoundCloud, isn't that kind of the same thing? It is, but like any of these things, if you'd said to me, like, you know, MySpace, I put that up on MySpace on a certain date, well, you know, does that, does that <laughs> still exist here? So I, I, I tend to be of the view that you're better just taking things into your own hands and uh -huh. protecting your own. Something as, you know, as, because you don't know the thing in this, this envelope could be worth millions to you. Mm -hmm. Indians, you don't know. And I just feel it's better to have that backup. You know, you can always have it on SoundCloud and other things, which will, will as I say, timestamp it. Or, you know, you know you, in theory, you could send a, um, an email to yourself, you know, which has a timestamp or a Google timestamp or something. Mm -hmm. But I kind of go, go a bit low tech, you know, it's old fashioned, yeah. but it's belt, belt and braces stuff and you've got it. Less likely to work. Yeah. Okay, cool. Well, thanks for that. Uh, we'll do some more of your music business 101 questions very soon. See you soon. Okay.